Hi, alongside Yuni, we'll be getting a rerun of Hohua in the first phase of version 2.4. Hohua is a healer that has a really insane ultimate that almost can compete with Harmony units. But it has been some time since her release and many new sustained units has come out since then. So is she still worth it to pull? Well, here are three cool things and annoying things to consider before you pull for Hohua. Before we start, I'll be giving away two supply passes slash welcome moon slash crystal card to my subscribers at 5k subs. So make sure you subscribe to enter. If you don't know what Huahua does, basically Hua Square is a wind abundance healer. Her skill cleanses and heals an ally and those adjacent to, her ultimate gives all other allies energy and an attack buff, and her talent has two stacks that heals and cleanse during any ally's turn or one day ult too which refreshes with each skill cast. Overall, Hohua has a very overloaded kit. Pretty obviously, although she's a healer, she does a lot more than just that, which brings us onto the three cool things about Hohua. Hohua is the best cleanser in the game. One really strong part about her talent is that in addition to healing allies every time they have a turn or use the ultimate, when this heal is triggered, they also cleanse themselves. That means that those annoying DOTs the enemies have is no problem. Scared of getting frozen or action disabled? No problem. As you can probably tell by now, having a really convenient cleanse really makes it all the more comfortable to play. And it actually indirectly buffs your damage too against enemies with heavy CC as you can waste less skill points on cleansing them and avoid having turns lost due to CC. What's more to her kit is that she is literally a pseudo harmony unit. Hohua's ultimate gives both energy and attack to all other allies. In case you didn't know, as of this video, the only other character to give energy at all is Ting Yun. Not to mention that Ting Yun is the single target one, Hohua gives 3 allies energy. This by itself already makes her a super strong unit as many units either relies on ultimates like Argentine or the brand new Yun Li, or really likes having more ultimates. Having a really red buff and then having an additional attack buff really makes her one of the best characters to have in any team. In fact, sometimes, Having extra energy will actually increase your damage more than any other buffs in the game can provide. Hohua is one of the best sustain for higher investment players. As I said before, energy is sometimes the best way to improve damage, more than any resist pen or damage percentages can do. As an extra O or 2 can change much more than just having bigger numbers. For people that can comfortably clear the hardest content in the game already, usually it is really hard to find a meaningful upgrade to your really strong teams. But Hohua is different as her energy gain is just so broken that you can actually improve them further like for example the Kafka Black Swan team. Realistically, just those two paired with Robin or Ramay will be able to clear everything and running any system will work. But Hohua moves that team to the next level by giving Kafka and Black Swan just that one or two more ultimates which improves the team's damage by a lot. So you should really just slot her into any team as long as you have the skill points to do so. Which brings us onto the three annoying things about Hohua. One of her biggest weaknesses is that she is more demanding in terms of skill points compared to most other sustains. Locha is literally a skill point generator, and Fushuan slash adventuring really just needs to use skill every now and then. So despite the infinite cleanse and the insane ultimate, you may feel more comfortable playing someone else. Another annoying thing is that it takes more effort to use Hua Hua. For example, sustains like Locha is just basic spam, and maybe a skill in an emergency. Or for Sean, who just uses skill every 3 turns with the occasional early skill to refresh CC shield or to gain energy. Hohua needs you to pay attention to weigh the worth between using a skill to refresh talent or basic attack to gain more SP. And at the end of the day, she is just another sustain unit. If you already have multiple top sustains, then getting another one, even if it's an upgrade to a certain team, is not all that worth it. Despite the insane attack and energy gain, despite the insane cleansing, if you're not struggling to keep your team alive, then going for another unit will usually turn out to be more fun in most cases.